hey what's up guys how's it going welcome back to another video and if you're new to this channel can you smash on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so anytime i upload a new video you guys will be notified so if you have been searching for how to remove palm pay security plugin on android phone in this video i'm gonna walk you through all you need to understand about palm pay security plugin and if of course you can actually remove that or not so once you log into your palm pay app the next thing for you to do is to get into the loan section and there is one thing i also want you to understand for you to have been searching for palm pay security plugin there is a chances that you have already collected a loan from this platform and uh probably you didn't pay back the money and then that is why you are being able to see the security the security plugin and of course uh, you want to remove that so that you can be able to have access to your phone one thing i really want to to understand about this security plugin is the fact that once you grant ask, uh, the palm pay uh app access to to your phone when you are trying to get a loan i know for a fact that you have seen some list whereby they tell you to read through the uh, uh privacy policy terms and condition and all that and then they ask you to check mark one certain option whereby it give them access to your mobile device and also they believe that you have read or go through the privacy policy and terms and condition before you check mark that box to get a loan from them so once you check mark that box it means that you give them access to your mobile phone and once you didn't pay back the money you borrow from them there is no way you can have access to that phone so they're gonna give pops up that notification and then you won't be able to have access to your phone until you pay back the money so let me show you what i'm actually talking about what's kind of like related to that and uh, let me show you what i'm um talking about so if you click on the apply for a loan for example and don't know when exactly you get a loan because there is a new um update on it on this palm pay new app and the way interface is uh, actually working is different from before so once you click on get loan now you're gonna see it will ask me to allow palm pay to access my device location so all these things are something that they're gonna put into the da uh, database and uh, they're gonna record everything so if i didn't click i said don't allow or i'll click on this you can see access permission in order to activate flexi cash service please grant the following system permission local information phone contact list which means if i didn't <coughs> pay back the money my contact list will be logged and they can actually send a notification to all my contact list that i borrowed money from the platform and i didn't pay back and if i also uh, uh, grant the uh, local information it's gonna send all my details to their database and let them know where exactly i'm living my name how i operate my phone they're gonna have access to all this but if i close this they cannot do anything on my phone so if you have already take a loan from them my own best advice is just to find a way to pay back the money and the security plugin will definitely automatically removed from your phone but then if you are still finding a way to remove it i'm not sure it's actually possible but you can be able to find another route to this and you might be able to remove the security plugin but trust me there is a way whereby you have already grant them the permission and there is no way you can remove it without them allowing you to do that even though if you go to your settings because i have seen different kind of videos that tell you to go to your settings then security uh uh plugin admin so blah 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 like that and if you even though if you do all sort of that you're still gonna see the notification the plugin on your palm pay i want to log into it so that is how it works that is the grant and access they have you have already give them and you can not do anything on that so if you have any question around this let me know in the comment section thank you